I've been meaning to learn Blender for a while, and、uh, if you're anything like me, your journey probably started with Blender Guru's donut tutorial. However, after 10 hours, instead of a yummy donut, I created a pink lumpy mess that's barely edible. Blender is powerful, but it comes with a steep learning curve. Modeling, material, lightning, that's a lot to take in. So I often wonder, wouldn't it be nice if you can just tell Blender what to do and it would just do the modeling for me? So this thing dropped on GitHub recently. It's called Blender MCP, and yeah, it's already blowing up, almost hitting 10,000 stars. What is Blender MCP? It is a framework that connects AI directly to Blender. It's like giving your AI an actual mouse and keyboard and then watching it to go to work. All I did was type a single sentence, something like "build me a small village," and AI just did it. It grabbed the current scene. Figured out what was there, built a model, tweaked it, added terrain, added lighting, the whole deal. I didn't touch a thing in the process. And the crazy part is, if you don't like something, you can just say it. Like here, I told Blender to add a river in between the house, and it just did it for me, no question asked. Before showing you how to do it, let's talk about MCP. What is MCP? MCP stands for Model Context Protocol. It was introduced by Anthropic. Think of MCP like a USB port, but for AI. It's a universal connector that lets AI talk to real software. It takes what AI knows, text, context, commands, and translates those into actual actions inside real applications. Blender, Unreal, Unity, whatever. For example, you can use MCP to tell Unity to build a game for you. And here is a wild part: this thing is taking off like crazy. More tools are supporting it. Third-party devs are jumping in. It's basically becoming the API layer between AI and everything else. Now let me show you how to install Blender MCP on your laptop. You will need three things: Python, Blender, and Cloud Desktop version. The web version will not work. Make sure you download the desktop app. So first, let's set things up in Blender. The very first thing you do is go to GitHub, go to this page. The link is in the description. Here, just download this file, add-on.py. The easiest way to do it is just hit download. After downloading this file, hop back to Blender, click on Edit, click on Preference. So here, what you can do is. Hit install from disk, and just click on this file. I have already downloaded the file, and after that, you will see this Blender MCP add-on activated in Blender. And with this, you can go to the main scene. Here, you will see additional option called Blender MCP, and that's the one you want to see here. Click on Start MCP Server. And that's it. That's the entire setup in Blender. And now let's go to cloud. Okay. Now let's set things up in cloud. Go to cloud app. Click on this three dash here. Click on file settings. Go to developer. Click on edit config. This will bring up the cloud files configuration files. So the file you want to open up is cloud underscore desktop underscore config. So once you open it up, it should be empty. And now what you want to do is you go back to GitHub. Here in this section, what we want to do is copy and paste this in. Copy and paste. You save it and close it. Before starting the AI, one last thing that we want to install is this thing called UV Package Manager. In short, UV is a tool that helps Python install dependencies and manage a clean environment for your projects. Installing it is very simple. Click on this button, copy the code, hop to a terminal, paste it in, and just enter. Using Blender MCP is as simple as it gets. The only thing you want to be sure is here. Make sure the server is on, and now you can type your command in cloud. So, for example, create a tree 
with three cones. You can also add materials to it. For example, add green materials to the tree. Also, color the ground brown. Add professional lighting in the scene. Okay, that's it. This is introduction of Blender MCP. Some final thoughts here. Blender MCP is still in its early stages, very, very early. It works, but it's not perfect. Right now, you can add objects, delete them, tweak a few things, and that's about it. It cannot build fully polished things yet. It won't replace your modeling workflow, not today. But here's the thing. The bones are here, the foundation is solid, and the fact that we can even talk to Blender like this, that's huge. In my next video, I'll talk about using MCP to build a game in Unity. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.